Okay, good morning everyone. So now we'll proceed to our next lesson which is function. Okay. Now I want you to take a look around your surroundings. Can you name any machine around you? Okay, and now I want you to comment below its function, the function of the machine. Okay, you comment in our Facebook group, okay, the function of the machine. That you saw around you so we have here the picture of the bread and the toaster and its um, product what have you observed so we have here the bread and we put it in the toaster and its outcome is toast right so our bread is the input we use the machine toaster and after that we come up with the toast or toast bread okay we have here function we use the function of the toaster to be able to come up with toast bread. Okay, so function meaning one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay, there's only one element in, for every element in A, there's only one correspondence in B domain the first set is called the domain second set is called the range okay so correspondence between two sets of elements for example we have bread and toast right they are correspondent they are related. Diba? Kailangan po bread and washing machine. Okay? So, it should be related. Function with each element in the first set, there corresponds to one and only one element in the second set. Okay? Class. Diba? In relationship in order for it to work one should be loyal the same with math okay um first set it should be loyal for it to be called a function <laughs> okay let's have here another example an example with each person in a class their corresponds an assigned seat diba class for every seat there's only one person who can sit to the chair even pwede duha ka book student paglingkod in one chair so one ready siya next with each day of a year there corresponds an assigned integer that represents the high temperature for that day and a certain Geographic location. So every day, we have here an example class. So you look at here. So you look at the first set class. First set Pedro, si JM, Joyce, Aura, and Kian. That's the domain. And they have only one 
correspondent to set B. Usara jadi yang partner or usara jadi yang correspondent in set B. So it is a function. Basta ang inyo ran iti ka look at set A na Jude. Nandiyan if usara yang partner gani, then function siya. Next. We have here this one. Look at the domain. What are what are the domain? The the days, the days. May two, March one, October five, February one, December four, October eighteen. And they only have one partner or correspondent temperature. So they need to usar jadi yang partner or yang correspondent. So function sa class. Basta usar jadi yang partner. So again, the first set is called the domain. Second set is called the range. We also have here the possible. What may possibly come out of a function is called the co-domain. So, may possible mo come out of a function. But what actually comes out is called the range. Okay. So, there is class. Your set B here, tanan yung set B is called the co-domain. Okay. But kanang yung partner Jude, di ba si May two thirty ano? So ang outcome Jude niya that is range, okay? Basa possible, possibly come out co-domain, and what actually comes out range. So we have also here another example. So again, no two ordered pairs have the same first component dili pwede nga mag mamayi class dili pwede mamayi okay i have i will give you an example okay let's have here we have one two three Why? Uh Anyway, di ako lang gumaya dire. One, two, three, A, B, C. Okay. Set A and set B. So one corresponds to A, two corresponds to B, three corresponds to B. Is it a function or not? class, you look at the first set. So, what is the first set? This one. Okay. You take a look. Loyal ba sila? Okay. For it to be called a function, one rabbi lang partner. 
Yes, or shall I log back in to the other set? So it is a function. Now, how about this? Is it still a function? No. Why? Delete loyal C number one. Do tag do ha yung part na eh. Okay. So, function determining whether it's a function is just very easy. You just loop the first set and see if it only corresponds to one function or one item, one element in set B. Okay, so can you delete any function cos C1 tagurha man part na. Gets na? Okay, we have here this one. Okay. Is number one a function? Yes, it's a function. Why? Can only mo first set number two. So, diba? Okay, I'll give you another example. Number two is also a number two. How about number two? Is it a function? No. Delete siya function. Ano mo na siya? Okay. 2, 3, 2, 1. Okay. This one is your x. This one is your y. You should see if ang x is not repeating. If is it if it is repeating, then it is not a function. Tanawa in order pairs class gabalik balik ang two. Gabalik balik ang two. So it is not a function. Pero kung wala gali gabalik balik ang x. Kaya nalagyan niyo balikan ang x para mag-function. Kaya mo work on na. Okay. Asa na ni? So, dire class. How about this? 5 5 1 Are your x repeating? Kabag-bag ba yung x? No. Lahit lahit na sila. So, this is a function. If wala, gabalik ang x. Okay lang, magbalik ang y. Basta si x, di pwede magbalik. <laughs> Talan siya. So, direct class. Okay, so number one. Wala, gabalik ang x, no? Okay, ang mga x are one, two, three, four, and five. In number 2, na yung gabalik ng x, kaya 1, 2, 3, 2, og 1 man. Nagbalik, nag-repeat si 2. So, 2 is not a function. Okay, this one. We have here. Relationship. So, all function are relation but not all relation are function okay so we have here you are uh, your x is independent x name of class independent it can stand alone however your y is dependent so we have here your f of x equals 20x whatever you input in your x there it will change your y okay so example your x becomes 2 substitute lang 2 so 20 times 2 minimum 40 if your x becomes 5 then 20 times 5 becomes 100 so we can also use vertical test to test whether it's a function. So vertical and class. So in vertical meaning, 
పదిహేను వేసుకోన్ కానీ షా ఇట్స్ ఇట్ ఓన్లీ క్రాసెస్ వన్ వన్ పాయింట్ ఇఫ్ నా క్రాస్ నాక కాన్షా ఇంటర్సాక్ట్ అట్ వన్ పాయింట్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ ఫంక్షన్ ఫర్ గ్రాఫ్ వన్ మా వర్టికల్ లైన్ కా దట్ ఈస్ సిగే ఎల్ గివ్ యూ అన్ ఎల్ త్రో అన్న If you're given a graph, for example this graph, you do a vertical line test. Kanina lang sa vertical line. So, pati yung dog. Since one point naman sila ni meet, meaning it's a function. Okay. if one point they meet at one point however if we have here this one and we do when we do vertical line test it meets two points meaning it is not not a function if two or more points is a function say and rasa If one point function, if two or more daily function, that's how you use the vertical line test. Okay, I think that ends our lesson for today. If you have question, just ask in our group chat or in our GC. Thank you and take care.